As many of you know, and if you don't, we like to do things as easy as possible here on the Easy Astro Images channel. But we also are striving for improvement and better results. One of the best ways that we have, can improve our results is the use of these amazing tools that people make. For example, Bill Blanchin, the guy is a genius, and it's what we're going to talk to in talk about today. He's the guy that just creates these nice drag and drop things that just do amazing things to your images. And guess what? He just released a whole new setup for your SHO, HOO, and SHSO normalization, as well as some other things. So we're going to talk about it now on the channel. I'm Chad. This is the Easy Astro Images channel, and we're going to process some photons today. Welcome back, everybody. It has been an exciting morning here on the channel. Bill released his video last night showing his new PixInsight uh, normalization scripts that he came up with. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about, it's this gentleman here on another Astro channel. You definitely need to get on the wagon here and check this out and subscribe. And on his channel description here, you're going to see links to his Google Drive where you can go and download these uh, PixInsight icons that you can then just arrange and add into your own icon mix and turn things into a drag and drop. Now, Bill's been on this train for a while now. It's what he does. He writes these amazing scripts and he drops improvements on them, you know, every couple months or something. Uh, this one he has spent a lot of time on. And the difference between, say, this one and the ones that he released before is that he has so many extra tuning variables that are built into this thing. So instead of having things like a real-time preview, you literally can just make one little change um, inside the script. I'll show you how easy it is. Drag and drop, see if you like it. If not, undo and go back and forth. So I definitely recommend that you go and check out his channel and his videos, all of them. Uh, you'll learn everything. And he always gives himself uh, a hard time about making, you know, an hour long YouTube video, you know, audience retention on YouTube runs about 25 to 35% uh, percent of your video. And yeah, that's just the way it is. But you know, you can always watch it through at fast speed, but then you will miss all of the amazing explanations. And that is the best part about it is just seeing how all this stuff works and seeing how you can fit it into your processing. Um, and his stuff's free, and I wish he had a, uh, there's a way that we need to contribute to your bill, that's for sure, because this stuff, I'm sure, uh, takes a lot of time and is not easy. So let me jump in the pics inside here and show you guys what we got going on. I've been playing with just a few images and stuff, and, you know, I'll be honest, uh, the first time that I used some of these, the ones that he, you know, he makes star reduction scripts, um, the modified SCNR to get rid of the green, which is great. Um, you know, all kinds of uh, automatic stretching and stuff, you know, and you go back and forth and you play with these things and sometimes um, they work and sometimes they didn't. Um, these are vastly, vastly improved. Um, I want to show you just, let's start off with the heart. Um, the heart nebula here, this is a heart nebula that I did about uh, just, a, just a couple months ago. And, you know, I was happy with the image. It's fine for what it is. Um, Red Cat 51, 2600. And then, of course, using the different, you know, HO methods and stuff. Uh, that's, you know, what I ended up getting. Well, using Bill's script today, I came up with this. And then I also took it one step further and tried another one of his methods in the script and came up with this. So inside of the tools, Bill has configured different ways to process and equalize your data, different ways to split up with the dual band filters and then apply them to green, blue, red, all that kind of stuff. If we open up the actual HOO normalization V5, you're gonna see all 
of these tuning parameters right here at the beginning of the page. And you know, you just drag and drop this thing and he'll go through all the stuff in the video way better than I ever could. Um, I will show you that uh, in, for this example um, of the jellyfish, I'll go ahead and get rid of these. So this is the jellyfish that I came up with. It could use a little bit more work, uh, but just really cool what I ended up doing uh, with this. And uh, these are kind of the, the settings that I uh, played around with. Uh, the different normalization mode. He's got a blending mode that'll blend the channels a little bit differently between like, it's he calls the regular one, Lucomatico mode, which we're all pretty familiar with. Um, Luke's uh, faux SHO palette with the dual band filter. Um, the crazy color heart one that you saw, which I really like, um, was through Bill's own uh, blending mode that he has created. Um, he's implementing masks in here now, and he has the ability for you to put in the booster O3, boost your brightness on your curve stretch that he's applying. There's just so much that's into this stuff that it's just so hard to describe. All I can just show you is the actual results uh, that I've done. Um, if we take a look at my old Lion Nebula, this is the one that I shot and processed with uh, my data, not the one that I did of Joe Navarro's data. And then just a quick, you know, 10 minute job this morning, um, obviously a lot more stars in this one and stuff, but this was again using Bill's uh, ACC blending mode, you know, just to bring up different colors. And, and, you know, there's no written rule when it comes to, you know, it, this is art. It's just what you want to do with it. And then, of course, I've also been using his uh, RGB stars uh, technique, you know, putting them back in properly to allow them to retain as much color as possible um, instead of using some of the other methods that I have been using lately. But, uh, you know, the difference between these two is uh, pretty freaking striking, that's for sure. So that is uh, just another great example right there. Um, the other thing that I did was I actually took some of uh, – Astro Bloke's data of the fighting dragons, and I decided to do this HSO version of the fighting dragons. And I mean, come on, you know, it's just amazing. And the, the best thing about it is, you know, this stuff could not be any easier. You know, you, you take your data, you do like a dynamic background extraction, a color correction, blur exterminator, noise exterminator, uh, do a simple stretch pull everything, uh, the stars out, and then just start hitting it with one of these normalization uh, algorithms. It's super easy and simple, and you can just start plugging and chugging and those different numbers. You j And then, as Bill says, when you find maybe something that you definitely like and you want to do like every time, um, you can just create your own type of process icons on your own uh, to do that stuff. And uh, he also came up with a newer version of his uh, modified SCNR uh, to help remove the green. Um, each one of these, the HOO, the, the SHO, and the, H, and the HSO, um, it all has great instructions in here to tell you, you know, when you might want to use or raise or lower a certain number, if you experience different kind of clipping, or if you want to apply a more aggressive stretch, uh, just everything, you know, everything can be done with this pixel math, it looks like. And, uh, you know, this image, of course, is, uh, I mean, this is just freaking awesome looking for sure. But a uh, little of my own tweaks on it as well at the end to just kind of finish it off. Some things in Photoshop, some things in PixInsight. But, the, you know, the difference on everything is just amazing. And I really love this uh, ACC normalization that he has that has the purple and stuff like that in it. And I have no problem with that at all. I think it is awesome. I mean, the more color of variances and stuff that we have, uh, the better, especially for us one shot color people, uh, because, you know, we have a, just more ways to di differentiate, uh, the different gases that we're seeing, uh, through our one shot color cameras. So bravo, Bill, everybody go and check these out for sure. Drop them a like and a comment and a subscribe on his channel and, uh, do the same here. So we will talk to you guys later. Appreciate all of you. Peace.